Hello, my name is Dr. Louis Clefani, and I'm a licensed chiropractic physician. I'm also the health director for Medical Products Online. Please remember to consult with your doctor before purchasing any of these products. Today we're going to talk about a product called the Intensity IF Combo. The Intensity IF Combo combines four TENS modes and four interferential modes all into one unit. The four TENS modes that are available are burst, normal, uh, pulse modulation, and rate modulation. In the interferential, we have the P1 mode, the P2 mode, the P3 mode, and the P4 mode. The two channels, as you know, will interact with each other at approximately 4,000 hertz. The, f the second channel will change depending on the treatment area that you're using. So you would want to consult with your health professional to find out which one might be better for you. You'll notice that your unit comes with everything that you need to get started. Instruction manual, electrodes, a power adapter, which you will need for interferential because the battery life does not last very long when you're in interferential, the unit itself, the battery, and lead wires. So what we're going to do is connect the unit by putting the lead wires in the top. And we're going to actually do a TENS treatment to begin with. So you notice that we have two electrodes connected. And let's say we have pain in the forearm that we want to treat. So we'll turn the unit on with the power button. We'll press the mode button, and then that will bring us into the TENS modes. We're going to use the normal mode. So we're going to press the S, and then we're going to scroll with the up arrow to the P2 mode. Then we're going to press the S again, and that will allow us to change the duration of the time of the treatment, and we can up and down arrow to do that. By pressing S again, we can now change the pulse width, and right now this is set at 150. We're going to actually do this at about 100 and then press S again, and this will allow us to change the pulse rate, and we're going to up and down arrow. Uh, we're going to set this to about 80 for this particular treatment. Pressing the S once again, and we're ready to treat. So now we would press the up arrow, and that would increase the intensity. I'm beginning to feel some stimulation right now at about 10 MA, and I'm going to increase this until it's comfortable to about 15, and then I would wait for the duration of my treatment, and then when I'm finished, I'll turn the unit off just by pressing the power button for th about three seconds, and then we're done with the treatment. Right now, we're going to set up an interferential treatment, and so that will require, once again, the two channels. So we'll connect the electrodes, and in interferential mode, we're going to say that we have a tendonitis right in this area. So what we're going to do is crisscross the channels. So we're going to take the next electrode and place it in a crisscross pattern, take the second one from channel number two and place it, creating a box. And where the box intersects is basically going to be the treatment area. We're going to press the unit on, and we're going to press mode button. Now we're in an interferential mode. I'm going to use this in the P3 so therefore, I'm going to press the S, and then I'm going to up arrow to P3, and then I'm going to press S once again, and set my duration time to about 10 minutes, and press S again, and I'm going to uh, change my cycle time from 5 seconds, and I'm going to up arrow to 10 seconds, pressing S once again, and now I'm ready for treatment. So now as I increase the up arrow, my intensity is going up in channel one, and now I can increase, and actually that will change both of the channels simultaneously. And we'll make it comfortable, and this is a very different sensation. Now what we are feeling is a field of treatment, and again, depending on what my condition is, we're going to change the sweep 
wider and narrower, and then more deep and less deep, depending on the mode that you choose. Again, you'll consult with your healthcare professional. When the treatment is done, we will once again press the power button for about three seconds. And now we're finished with the treatment. And then you're going to put your electrodes away and your lead wires away uh, carefully. And please uh, use our video regarding the care of your unit. Um, and that will tell you how to take care of your lead wires and electrodes. I want to thank you again for joining us at Medical Products Online. If you have any questions, please feel free to call us or to email us um, and then consult with your own doctor before using these products.